What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Somewhere fishing. You see the hat. Uh today we're gonna be doing some uh jug lines. I'm gonna show you how I make mine and what I use to make them. So uh like the video and subscribe. Like we got a little action. Oh, he's still on there. Jug lining, baby. Look good. Yeah. That's how we do a jug line. See them circles don't play, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna start the video off showing you uh, what you need to make them. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. Now right there we got some rebar. I'll show you why we got the rebar here in a little bit. About two and a half inches. I cut them in two and a half inches. We we'll need some. Uh, Three quarters PVC caps. Gonna need some uh, reflective tape. Uh, got one and one eight uh, eye bolts. Got some pipe cement. Got the old uh, old cutters right there from a PVC. Got some old silicone. Gorilla glue, 35, uh, 30 pound fishing line, 30 pound test fishing line, bank sinkers, circle hooks, got to have the circle hooks. Got to have the circle hooks. Swivels, even though I probably won't use them. Beads, I'll show you why I got the beads here in a little bit. Of course, the pool noodles, you know. I think orange is like a commercial fishing uh, color if you got a commercial license. But uh, yeah, we're gonna use them anyway. That's all I got. And of course the PVC, 10 foot of PVC. We're gonna cut them into uh, two foot sections. So yeah, each one of these, you should get five out of each one with a total of uh, 15 noodles. And the secret weapon right here. Dun, dun, dun. Versa Rattlers. Yeah, folks, we're going to try to put Rattlers on our jugs. We're going to be the first one to try Rattlers on our jugs. Tune in. All right, folks, I showed you everything we needed, everything I had. So uh, let's get started. We're going to get started by going ahead and cutting our PVC. I already got it marked at two feet, so we're just gonna get the cutting. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna cap one end of it. No matter which end, they both, you know, as long as you leave one end open. So get the cap. Get that on my truck. Put your little glue in your cap. Put as much as you want on there. And I know people gonna be in the comments, oh, he didn't use primer, you didn't use primer. You only use primer when you're gonna have pressure on it. There ain't gonna be no pressure on it. So that's why we ain't using primer. 
blew good enough by itself. All right, got that on there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my rebar, just slide it in there. That's why all the magic happened with that rebar right there. All right, now we're gonna stick that to the side. And I'm gonna cut a few more of these. Go ahead, well, I'm gonna cut all of them up and I'll get back with y'all. Now, as you can see, I got all my caps on one side of my PVC. Now, I gotta get the other side ready. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be putting these eye bolts right here through the top of it. Right now, I'm drilling holes for my eye bolts. Be using these eye bolts right here. That's for the other end of the cap. See, I capped one end off, left that one open. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. We got our holes in there. So now we're gonna go back through and twist these eye bolts in. Boy, it's hot out here today. I should be fishing right now. I might take my old, set some lines later or something. How y'all make y'all jug lines? I wanna know how y'all make y'all I mean, I got this idea off of YouTube. It's not like my original idea. I just put a little twist on it here and there. All right, we got them all on there. I'm gonna hit the inside with a little silicone so they don't leak. And now, I'm putting a boat, a little small boat, over the end of the U-boat, because the rebar inside the PVC, you don't want it coming down, slamming against that, and maybe knocking it out. So I got a bunch of little boats I'm gonna go back and put in there. I'm using old Gorilla Glue for that. Good for anything. All right, now since I got all my ends done, I'm going to go ahead and cut my old pool noodles. Try to cut them all the same length. You want your pipe two feet. And you want to cut these about 16 inches.
15 of these. I'll be ready to put them on here. Oh yeah. Now, this is where the rebar come in. Do not forget to put your rebar in here. What you do, all you do, slide your rebar in there. All right. You get one of your caps with your eye bolt. One of your caps with your eye bolt. Cement on it. Put it on there. Good to go. Remember me putting that bolt on the other side of this this eye bolt right here? Because when it comes down, it's going to hit. You don't want it to hit this and knock it out. Might miss a fish. That's all it is right there. When you put it in there, you shake it to this end. You set it in the water. When the fish pull on it, it'll set up like that. And you'll know you got a fish. Only bad part about it, everybody else will know you got a fish too. So I'm going to keep making these. And uh, when I get through making them, I'm going to show you how I rig them up, put the line on them. Hey, and that's how you do it right there. Appreciate you for tuning in to the channel. I had to show you how I rig it up another time. Basically just like a fishing pole. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And you can always catch me somewhere fishing.